everybody, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new Game Maker tutorial. Today we're talking about persistence, which is one of the greatest things that you might not know about. Uh, it is extremely helpful for your game, especially if used properly. Now, before I get into how to use it, let's talk about what it is. Now, what I've got here is an example game. I say an example game. I've got some example code here. And what I've done is I've created a variable called hearts. And hearts is equal to three. Those are your lives. This is your player. Uh, so he's got three lives, basically. Then in the draw event, all I've done is said draw lives and then draw the value. Uh, so just to display how many lives we have. And then I just have in the space key, it's going to go to the next room. And in the F key, it's going to subtract from hearts. Now, you don't really need to know this. It's more to kind of demonstrate. So if I run the game right now, I've got these two rooms set up. And they both have different colored backgrounds. And that's how we're going to tell them apart. So as soon as this boots up here and we can take a look, it's going to compile. How are you guys doing today? You doing good? Yeah, good, good. Doing some game development. That's, uh, that's fun stuff, fun stuff, fun stuff. Taking a little while today. I don't know. Uh, it's probably because I'm recording it. But uh, as soon as it's up here. All right. So I've got lives is three. And what you can see is I can subtract by hitting F. I can subtract it to two and I can subtract it to one. So this gray room represents level one. This is our first level. Now let's say the player goes along and beats this level and moves on to level two. Well, let's move on to level two. What you will notice is that our lives are now back to three. And that's because what's happening is in room zero, it's creating a new OBJ lives object. And then in room one, it's creating another new one. Well, okay, well, who, what, who cares? Like, what, what does that mean? Well, basically what it means is that it's resetting the value of your variable every time there's a new level. Now there's an easy and quick way to get around this. First thing you do is you just check off persistent. It's on the uh, left hand side here. It's one of these check boxes right above depth. So you can check that and enable it. And now this object is persistent, which means it only has to be in the very first level. So I can take it out of level two and now you can see it's only level one. And what it's going to do is now when I move on to level two, it's going to automatically move it over. It's going to say, okay, well, this one is OBJ lives. It has two hearts. Perfect. So let's move that one over to room one or to like level two. So if I run this time, hopefully it's a bit faster. Yeah, here we go. All right. So drag this over here. Now what you're going to see happen is I can subtract to one here and I can go into the next level and it stays one. And that'll happen every time, no matter what, it'll always carry it over um, into, you know, further and further rooms, which is extremely helpful for your game. Because of course, when your player, let's say it's a platform game, when he gets, maybe it's a Mario game, uh, you know, a Goomba hits him and he dies, he loses one life. And, but if he beats the level, you still want him to have that one life lost. You don't want to, to reward him by giving him more lives. You want to keep it difficult for the player. Um, most games, I think uh, basically all games, the lives are continuous. They will carry on throughout the game. Um, so that's why persistence is extremely important. Uh, so I recommend you uh, try it out. Maybe see if you can incorporate it into your game because it's an extremely, extremely helpful thing to know. My name is Ben Parker. This is Game Maker Guide. Thanks for watching and happy demming.